You've gone through all my videos, you've brought in a pile of leads and you're a lead generation master, but now you've got all these leads. What the heck do you do with them? How do you convert them? You need more sales, right? Well, watch this video and I will show you how to take all those leads and turn them into customers. Hey, I'm Sean Bell and I am a social media coach for the Wolfpack at eXp Realty and I'm also the founder of the Realtors Blueprint which makes it super simple to generate non-stop leads through Facebook ads and also have them all auto-nurtured while on autopilot. I was a realtor for 18 years, a brokerage owner for eight years, brought in a ton of leads through Facebook ads, have had many conversations and have found what works the best in order to convert those leads into customers so let's dive in and show you how all right i'm going to try to make this as simple as possible so we're going to skip a lot of stuff which is the lead generation because if you want to bring in leads you can go to watch my prior videos you know how to do that likely if you're at this video you've got the leads you you know how to do the lead generation or you have some coming in to you from another lead gen company you're just wondering how the heck can you convert them first thing you need to do is when you do have a new lead come in you need to respond to them within the first five minutes so if you aren't doing Doing this already you can go watch some of my other videos as well I do explain this you need to have a system in place where you're having a connection where your leads are automatically filtering into your CRM and from there you have automations where it's reaching out to them within the first five minutes and then on top of that sending them a minimum of seven to eight touch points in order to get a response out of them Statistics show if you can respond in the first five minutes, you have a much, much, much higher chance of having a conversation with that person. So this is very important. But secondarily is it's not enough just to respond in the first five minutes because some will not respond. And some on average can take seven to eight touch points. Therefore, you need to have that system in place to follow up with them. Within our Realtors Blueprint platform, and you can do the same, is I have 13 touch points over the next 10 days, 10 text messages, and three emails. So make sure you create some sort of automation and for one, this is going to get you a lot more conversations started just by reaching out to them. And what I do is I just reach out simply and say, hey, it's Sean here. I see you requested a free list of homes from our Facebook ad as we do, as I said, go watch prior videos. That's how we generate our leads. Just want to make sure you received it. If not, let me know. So this is a simple yes or no question. And this is how we get the leads to respond to know that they are a real person and they gave us correct contact information. Okay, so we've got the systems in place. We're responding within the first five minutes. We're getting at least a minimum of those seven to eight touch points. And this just off the beginning is going to get a lot more conversation started for us. But now the conversation is started. What the heck do we do from there? What I like to do is start asking more questions. Questions. Okay, you download this free list of homes. Is this the na only neighborhood you're looking in? When are you looking to buy or sell? Have you been pre-approved? Are you currently working with another realtor? Just start asking those questions and see if they get, start to give you information. Because if they start to give you information, this starts to give you some better understanding of where they are in the process and showing you that they are a bit more interested because they're receptive to answering these questions. Eventually, if you can get enough questions answered, the main goal in mind would be to say, okay, you know, based off of everything you gave me, I believe it would be better if we could have a quick free consultation. I'll give you kind of a breakdown of all the steps you need to do when you need to know whether you're buying or selling your home, completely free of charge, I do this free for people that download my guide uh, or my free list of homes just as a thank you. So offer that up for free, get a call book with them. And now again, you can have a consultation with them, ask more questions, give them some guidance. So give them some free advice that shows that you actually care. And even if they want to do it on their own, you can applaud them. Say, hey, if you want to do this on your own, great. But I would like to have the call with you. So you're not uh, trying to figure this out. I'll give it to you for free and this way you can uh, do this on your own. So the whole idea behind this strategy is you're giving them free value. They appreciate it because no other realtor will do this for them when they tell them they'd like to do it on their own. Most realtors will say, okay, good luck and uh, never speak to them again. Whereas if you're doing this, and all of a sudden they go down the journey and realize, holy crap, this is actually a lot harder than what I thought. Guess who they're likely gonna contact? Cause there was the one realtor that actually cared and was willing to give them this advice for free. So that's one way to do it just to get that call booked. Uh, works amazing. But now, majority of the people, what happens when they say, not interested? Or no, I don't want to book a call. Or they're kind of not wanting to answer your questions. What do you do then? Do you just give up and let them go? No, you do not. Because buyers are liars. A lot of people are going to say they're not interested, but that's just their polite way of saying, I just don't want to speak to you right now. Or I don't ever want to speak to you because I don't know you. Because they haven't. I don't blame them. They don't know who the heck you are. So you need to keep giving value and show them your value. And eventually down the road, the other, you know, it takes seven to eight touch points for somebody to respond 
on sometimes. The other stat is it could be seven to eight interactions with you before they get to know, like, and trust you. So they've just had one interaction. That's not enough. So don't just let that lead die. Try to keep providing more information. And what I like to do is if they reply back and say, you know what, I'm not interested. I will come back and say, perfect. You know what, I have a system that is perfect for people that are not interested. It's a VIP email search. It'll get you uh, all the new listings, all the new solds within the specified area and the price range that you're looking in. I can put in minimum bedrooms, bathrooms, and it'll show you only what you're interested in. This way you don't have to scour different websites. This is like a one-stop shop. You don't have to put in different filters. It's gonna send you everything that you're interested in and it's gonna send it to you automatically immediately. So you don't have to go keep looking multiple times a day. When there's a new listing, you will know about it. This is a great way, even if you're not ready for the next five years, this is a great way to stay on top of the market so you know what's happening. When you are ready, now you've got knowledge. This thing is completely free. There is zero obligations. And I'm setting it up for people that downloaded uh, my free list of homes as a thank you. If you're interested, let me know. I'd be happy to get you set up on it. So when I put it that way to them, most of the time they're like, oh, okay, well, he's not just trying to sell me something, trying to give me something for free. Yeah, I, I, and I mean, the system sounds great. I think I'll sign up for that. When I put it this way to leads, a good majority will sign up for that auto email because I've already sold them on the value of it without asking for a sale. Now that they are set up on my auto email, guess what? They're getting new listings, they're getting new solds, and it's coming from me. It's got my face on there. It's got my phone number and they're starting to get to know, like, and trust me. And they're remembering me all the time because they keep getting emails from me every day, multiple times a day. And it's emails that they actually want to receive and see because it's properties that they're maybe interested in. So now again, if it's maybe 10 months or a year down the road before they're actually ready, guess who they're thinking of because they kept getting emails from this person all the time. Also, when you have them set up on your auto email, now you've got a great icebreaker you've got an excuse to be able to reach out to them so what I like to do is depending on the temperature of the lead every week or every other week reach out to them and check with in with them now if they're really cold and it's you know something they're just not interested for a ways down the line well then maybe it's once a month but be reaching out to them so it's not enough just to set up on the auto emails as great as the auto email is you still need to be following up with them so I like to check in with those people every now and then and just say hey just checking in see how the auto email is working out for you is there any changes you would like to it and by doing this sometimes they'll say yeah well actually I was thinking can we bump our price range up or can we change this or sometimes what would happen is people would say hey funny you actually messaged us today my wife and I were just talking about you and we were wondering about this listing what's your thoughts on it if I hadn't reached out to them guess what I might not have had that conversation they might have reached out to the listing agent I may have lost the customer so you need to keep reaching out this also shows that you care you're thinking of them and they really do appreciate it and this is where you're working to those seven to eight interactions with you and when it comes to the point that they are ready to buy or sell you've got a huge huge chance versus being over here at the beginning of having that conversation with them and converting them into a customer. So as you can see from all this, it is very easy to do, but it's just being consistent with all of this. The biggest ones that win and get these customers are the ones that are consistent with their follow-up, are always speaking to these people, and are not worried about a sale today. If you, all you're concerned about is a sale today, you're gonna lose. I'm sorry to say it, but you will lose because most people are not ready today. It takes time. You need to put those that time and effort into it, cultivate and nurture your relationship with these people until they are ready to buy or sell a home. So that's it. I'm really excited for you, but don't not skip off yet. Uh, I've got something else for you. If you are wanting to actually bring in more leads, uh, so maybe you are bringing in leads now, but you actually want to like double or triple the amount of leads that you're bringing in, then I have a free guide and this is my five killer Facebook ads that generated me 268 leads in seven days. So a couple things you can do. One is you can comment with Facebook ads and I'll send you your free guide or a little bonus for this video today is you can send me a text message with any questions you have when it comes to lead follow-up, setting up Facebook ads, and this is my direct number to this phone, and I will get back to you and answer your questions for you. So all you have to do, take a pen and paper and text the number 587-870-2590. Text that number, send me your questions. You don't owe me anything. I would be happy to help you out and guide you through this entire thing. Um, so yeah, I'll wait to hear from you. I'll have this with me and can't wait to double or triple your sales. 
And as always, if this video was beneficial, make sure to give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and also hit the bell to be notified of future videos I post on Facebook ads. Until next time, take care, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.